The Western Hive is a curious folk. Hard workers and great traders. And I am going to use this for our advantage. The shop in this village sells us a lot of goods that we need for future preparations. But that's not all of it. We can also train our stats on the local wildlife, mainly on the gorillas, because I rather avoid big things. And if the situation gets too dangerous, the western hivers are helping us. We also got Dave a new arm. It's not the best quality, but it was better than nothing. After we bought quite a bit of goods and sold the fur from the beasts, Darkfang mentioned that we should visit the city of Squin. Squin is owned by the faction of the Shack, and they produce good armor and weapons. I think that everyone here can use an upgrade. So we started to move towards the city. Over dusty roads and hills we marched until we spotted a shack standing on a hill. As we wanted to pass by this huge shack, he stepped in front of us. With a grim look in his eyes, he pointed his weapon at me and challenged me to a duel. I wanted to avoid this battle, but he insisted as he told me that I looked like a tough guy. Since the shack seemed quite skilled and confident, I had one rule for our duel. If I win, he has to join me. The shack started to laugh, and then he accepted my terms. But he also mentioned that this won't happen because he will crush my skull. The battle started quickly as he jumped at me with his huge weapon. But as the battle progressed, it was clear that I have more skills in battle. So I managed to overcome his strength and knock him out. I obviously banished him up and helped him back on his feet. As he slowly regained his consciousness, he grunted in my direction but acknowledged my strength. He was willing to join me, but only under the condition that he is allowed to fight even more. I told him my plans and that I am going to destroy the United Cities. And with every word I spoke, I could see the sensation growing in his eyes. He lifted me up, cheering, being visibly happy for more battles. This wild shack's name is Kaido. Kaido was exiled from the Shack Kingdom after he accidentally killed his brethren because he was so reckless. But shortly after his exile, he was overpowered by a big group of slavers. While they ventured through Wench, the slavers were killed by the Thrall Masters and Kaido was imprisoned. They tried to experiment on him, and only Okra knows what they wanted to create. In his prison time, he also befriended a skeleton with the name of Agnu. After regaining his strength, he decided it was time to flee this place. He broke down his door, and he also tried to free Agnu, but the thralls came after him, so he had to flee. And since then, he has been crushing the skulls of the slavers with his kanzaibo, named Hasaikai. Not only did I reassure Kaido that he will have a lot to fight, I also promised him that we will free Agnu. After this exchange, we made it to the city of Squin, where we bought ourselves new equipment. And shortly after, we made it back to our hideout. While the others were working, I finally got to visit the local shinobi thieves. I knew that making them an ally will be an investment in the future since they asked for 10,000 cats as entry money. When I was talking to the leader of the thieves, I noticed a bystanding hiver that was listening to our conversation. The shinobis accepted the money and so we were now allies with them. After that, I started to move back to the hideout. But a few steps down, I was stopped by this hive prince. This shinobi thief asked me if I need a skilled assassin in my team. His name is Akaza, a former member of the Western Hive. He always liked the wrist, and to perform his masterful act, he tried to kidnap the Hive Queen. But he failed in his attempt and he had to flee the Western Hive. He is now looking for a challenge in his life. He thought the Shinobi Thieves would give him a purpose, but he was just hanging around in the tower without much to do. He heard about me, 
and that we are looking for more members. I would be a fool to not hire a skilled ninja, so I accepted Akaza in our ranks. Now, to talk to our new friends, I decided that it was time to go to the local bar and have a few drinks to get to know each other better. Hello my fellow Kenji players and welcome back to the Revenge of the Silver Fang Clan, episode number 4. Uh, we are growing in numbers, we have two new community members that I can present you here. So let me start. The first one is Kaido, the big shack that got imprisoned by the Frolls, a friend of Agnu. Agnu is a robot or a skeleton that we also need to free now because there is lore behind it. Kaido, aka the local Okran and Choya on my Discord and also on YouTube now, aka Peter. He's been with my channel for quite some time. Uh, thank you for joining in, it's good to have you with us. And then we have. Da, 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 we have Akaza. So, Akaza is a Hive Prince that tried to kidnap the Queen, but hey, <laughs> he wasn't successful in doing so. And now he joined the Shinobi Thieves, and now he joined Yamato. Akaza's name on YouTube is Werewolf Kite, I think, I hope I pronounced your name right. Werewolf Kite, I think that's, that's, that's the right name. If not, then please let me know in the comments. I am not really good with names and pronunciation, so please, uh, yeah. And I also know that my English sucks a lot of the times. So, yeah, I'm sorry that you have to endure all of this. But hey, there must be a reason why you are subscribed to this channel. And if you're not, that's also okay. I wanna tell you right now what we are going to do. We are going to train. Yes, you heard me right. We are going to train our stats a little bit more. We are going back down to the gorillas and we are training up even more. Um, what you can also see here is I have bought some batteries here that are fully charged now, by the way, which is awesome. And I also have a small generator here. I've also, wait, let me see here. Uh, this one might have been new. I didn't really check the last episode. I think this one is new. I created this one new and I made this here. So it looks, it actually doesn't look that bad. So I'm trying to get a little bit of a groove in here to like make it look, look beautiful. I think I'm gonna make the kitchen over here and yeah. So anyways, let us head down to this. Last labors, of course. Let us head down to the Western Hive again, and then we're going to see how much we can train. And while we are going down there, I also want to tell you that I have removed the mod that gives us strength when we are working on mines because something seems a little bit off with this mod. It's usually you get a strength penalty once you have reached a certain threshold, so that you only get like. For example, you have 70 strength and then it takes a longer time to get higher strength because you get just like a uh, minus multiplier, I guess. That's what you, what you can say here. Um, you won't get food from me, but I'm just gonna crush your skull. But yeah, so I have removed this mod because I think it was a little bit too overpowered. You can see like Elton Sean has such a high strength and that is only from like two or three days of working on iron mines. So yeah, that's why I have removed it now. I'm also still looking for some mods to maybe make our gameplay a little bit better. So if you have any good mod recommendation, just throw them out. Also, while I've been traveling to Squin, I have noticed a huge group of paladins attacking the city. Yeah, uh, that that was fun. That was really fun. So and we've also attacked them because they started to attack me. Let me see, am I on bad terms with the number? Are they? Huh? Holy Nation. Hive, Skeleton, Smiths. Nope. Okay. Holy Nation is not here. Seems like. Hmm. I don't know why, but the Holy Nation is not here. That's fine with me. I don't I don't care too much, to be honest. So, anyway. 
What do we have here? More no dust bandits. Okay, more dust bandits. I guess they want to fight. So we're gonna bring the fight to them. I take it. Oh, let us see that big swing here. Boom! How much did we do? Oh my! I have to say, I really like this Kanzai bow here. Just hit all three of them. Just all three, and this—that's not even that strong of a weapon. It's—I mean, it is a strong weapon, but just I mean, the quality is not really that strong. But he just hit like a train. Oh, by the way, these are his stats. These are Kaido's stats, so you can see here. So his strength is a little bit higher because, like, he's a huge shack. And I've also been training him a little bit, like I've already been fighting some monsters. And yeah, and here we have Akaza. Let me give you the stats. His dexterity is a little bit higher. Obviously, stealth, thievery, assassination is higher. And yeah, that's about it. Dust bandits aren't really that big of a threat. Like, what what's going on here? Okay, he's carrying his friend away. I thought it was a slaver, but I guess I was wrong. So yeah, trading on more gorillos. So yesterday, I thought about my first Kenji Let's Play. Like, literally the first one I ever did. Um, you know what it was? It was the slaver start. I remember the slaver started. It was so funny. I couldn't like comprehend the graphics. I, I didn't really understand the system of Kenji. I just went in completely blindly and I loved it. It, it took me so... I don't know how many hours I've tried to get out of the <laughs> of the Holy Nation, like of, of Rebirth. I don't know how long. I just tried and tried and tried and I wasn't able to get out. Until I finally found out how to get out. I stole some gear then from the paladins. I took off, uh, took on the gear and then I went, went into, the, into the city of, what is it called? Bad Thief, right? No, Blister Hill, sorry. God damn it. On Blister Hill. And when I was in Blister Hill, uh, the paladins instantly recognized that I was a slave, obviously, because I didn't know how the slave system worked. And uh, model of the story, they threw me back into jail. But I somehow got out again. I don't know what I did exactly, but I, after being in prison there for quite some time, I finally came out and I made my face for first base. Oh, God damn it! Why is my English sometimes so bad? So my first base, I made my first base in Oakran Sprite here. I remember it was it was right around here, like in this place here. I just built a small shack. I researched some stuff and like a few minutes later or like a day later, in-game day, I instantly got attacked by the Black Dragon Ninjas. And then they stole all of my food, they knocked out every one of my my squad members and yeah, that's how my first game ended. Even though back then I did a lot of save scumming so I tried, kind of tried to get back up but it was, it was hopeless. Even with hiring mercenaries, they just came and then the dust bandits came again and yeah, it was it was awesome. And obviously prayer day, because prayer day is the best day. So we are fighting um you know yeah genau. sprichst du Deutsch, nicht? Um <laughs> What we are trying to do here is we are trying to train our skills. That's why I'm removing uh, the Lotus Bloom for the time being and we're just using this economy katana here. So we don't deal too much damage. So yeah. I don't know why the gorillas give such a good stats increase. Obviously what would be better if, if we would find someone with high stats and imprison them, but we have not reached a point right now. Ooh, there are a few weaklings here. I don't want to do that fight. Okay. So we're moving back. Don't want to risk the playthrough here. So I'm always trying to stay in here. Uh, although risking the playthrough is one thing. Like, I like to play with punishment. Like, I don't like to, let's say, a big thing kills me now. And then I don't save scum. I mean, a killing is... Let's say it like this. A big thing kills Dark Fang, for example. Then the playthrough won't end. But what if a big thing kills Yamato? I mean, that's game over. And 
obviously I'm trying to tell a story here and with a game over that would mean that you guys won't have a story so that's why I think that live streaming okay I'm going back to the live stream thing that I, we talked about is a good thing because when I live stream you guys can see me fail and struggle and do everything and then we can decide and make a Iron Man playthrough where we be like okay once someone's dead, he is dead, and that's it. But telling a story here, that's hard to do. Like, I, I can't just let Yamato die and the game is over. But I'm still trying to apply this, this Iron Man rules for myself, in terms of I'm not trying to go all in and then save Scum, I'm not doing that. I mean, I can... You can always say, like, okay, Pat, you can also cut that out. I know that, but I'm trying to play it safe. For example, in the Unit 707 playthrough that we did, I've never lost, never have lost one single member. And that goes to show you how overpowered skeletons are. I was in a tough situation right, all the time, and we also had the Legendary of Kenji mod installed, which means that the enemies were even stronger. So yeah, just just to tell you guys how it went. And now for this playthrough, I always look at the guards and be like, why are their stats so low? And that's because I'm, I'm not used to these low stats. Okay, there are big things fighting uh, bulls, and bulls fighting gorillas, and gorillas fighting big things. Of course, I don't want to get involved in here, because the big things are going to eat me alive. That's a one problem here. Oh, don't, no, Nani, come back. Nani. Oh, my, my, my. Shinderu. Okay, I think in this situation that shouldn't be that big of a problem because we have people here that can help me get back. Even though if we get hit here by the big thing, that's fine. There we go. Gotta make quite a bit of money like this. And oh yeah, so it's okay. our stats are going up. That's fine. We also need to train your dexterity here, Kaido. That's one thing we need to do, but that, that comes later. First, we're going to train up your strength, your heavy weapons and your attack. And everything that comes after that will be fine too. So, have we looted everything here? There was a bull here. We also want to loot the bull. There we go. That's a lot of meat. I'm gonna make sure that I put all the meat in my base. All of these are dead, right? Yep. Took off all their fuel. Who is that? Outlaws. Just normal outlaws strolling around. I could talk to them, not sure if I can hire them or try to recruit them. I wonder. I should probably also save the skin because we need them. Because, like I said, this time we are going to do more base building. By the way, I also have noticed a heated discussion going on in our Discord channel about where we should build our base. But guys, I have not been ignoring you, I've read all of that, I just haven't replied right right now, but I think um, since we are since we are trying to go back to the desert, the best thing that would be is we, if we stay around here, you know? If you stay in this area, like I don't want to build my base, for example, okay, let's build our base in the crater, and then we move up to the northeast. I think if we can say we can make the base around in this area, so for future discussion, how about we say we're going to do the bay at the base around here, because that would be really nice. Um, I like to stay around here because the Silver Fang family was originally here, so I want to keep the base in this area. Obviously, I mean we are going to own the whole United Cities later on anyway. I mean, uh, story, story-wise, we speak about story. Just so you know, just so you know. Mm, okay, you know what? 
I can go back. I can, okay, first, uh, you're gonna see a cut right now, and we're going to make it back to the hub. I'm just gonna say something if we are getting attacked. Okay, so we are back here at the hub. We didn't get attacked, in case you're wondering. And now we're going to build the following. I just realized that we don't have a skin container, do we? We can... Make a food storage. Make this... Wait, since we are gonna make the kitchen over here, I think we're just gonna place it down here. Two. And then I gotta look into the skin thing. Storage crafting. Oh, there we go. Okay, I found it. A few more books we're gonna put in here. And then Yamato is going to research this. We have a few people that are going to craft, but for the time being, we don't have them. Like, uh, I have a few smiths and also armor crafters, we have cooks, but the problem is that it takes some time before they get added to the game and no one else really, uh, like no one else of these guys really picked the job. Uh, like Sir Elton Sean had a crossbow job, the others were just like um, fighters. They wanted to be fighters. Craig wanted to be a farmer, but we can't. We have don't have a farm right now. And for example, Sasaki here, he mentioned that he would do any job. So he can, for example, become a blacksmith. I mean, would be a possibility. And I'm going to look into that because maybe we're going to make him a blacksmith too. We can, we can also have two blacksmiths then. So don't worry about this, guys, okay? I'm just going to make sure that everyone is happy. But now let's talk about... What we are going to do, storage, and then we are going to look into the... Where is it? There it is. Skins. Great. So we're gonna put this over here. Like three skin bearers, or like make it four. Make it four. Great. Now we can drop the skin in here. So yeah. We're also gonna sell the skin, but we're also gonna keep it in here. And also, I saw there was a meat container. Not just a food one, but a meat one. So we can store the raw meat in here. There we go. Since so we're going to make our, our kitchen over here, we're going to place these down here. You're obviously going to make some walls in here, but that's what I'm I'm doing off screen. I'm just playing around like this. So you guys don't have to watch me do this stuff. Uh, we could also get a fabri fa uh, fabrics. Would make a good place over here, I guess. If I find them, that is. Food fabric, there we go. Also gonna build three of those. Because we do need some fabrics. Oh, and there are also three of them left. That's awesome. There we go. Great. Let me drop this in here. And, like, we don't have any more... Oh, I should learn this. Invalid container. Let's give this to him. Research already known. Oh, okay. Then I've bought this for nothing. Why not? Great. So, we have some storage more here. And then we can go back to Vane and train. That was another rhyme here. I'm sorry. We're getting attacked by the dust bandits here. So we are going to take them out. Since we do have the time. Also getting hit here, but that, that is not bad. We need to train our toughness level up. Did. Wait. Did say Elton John just hit him in the head? Oh, because it's it, oh yeah at night time. Oh, I think if I get him a, la a lantern, l lantern, lantern, yeah, lantern, then he is able to have better sight at night, so he won't hit 
my own guys all the time. <laughs> Good. Wait, where's Craig? Hey. Craig has been running off. I spot the gorilla. Yes. Two of them. Great. Eh, eh, wait, wait. Wait for the squad. There we go. We can attack them. So I'm pretty sure I've already showed you this, but in case you're wondering how much um, XP we're getting. Like, we get 9% for one hit, even though he's on 49 currently, with his stat bonus. So yeah, as you can see, training on these gorillas does make quite a bit of sense. We can also get Craig a better weapon, I guess, like a, a better stuff. I mean, Craig said to me that he would use any weapon, so there's that. And what I also did here, because it's funny, because this is not in the area of the city, so I can build my stuff here. I placed down some sleeping bags, and these are the strong ones. So I can always go over here, go to bed, and heal up. Even though Craig is pretty slow. Just realized we don't have too much food left. And my guys are becoming hungry. So we're going to buy something. Ooh, look, a gorilla boy. Come on here, my friend. How much does Yamato get, by the way? Uh, 4%. That's pretty nice. There we go. Let me buy some more fish. And let me help the cyber before we do that. Craig! I mean, John, I just saw that. You shot him again. But it's good. It's good, okay? Because the training at the start is necessary. Um, also, by the way, uh, I have realized... Oh! That's why. I've bought this old world bow. I'm, oh, I thought like I was shooting with toothpicks, but I'm, I'm stupid. Yeah, this old world bow, it's, it's MK2 and it's high. So that's why he's damage is pretty good I would say but for training his stats up that's also fine so where is the shop wait we have more gorillas here come on come over here fight me mr. gorilla boy there we go oh no Nani is getting attacked okay he blocked it Locked it very nicely. Hey, why are you chilling? Oh, you can't attack. My bad. Uh, so, okay, now let me go into the shop and let me buy things. No, oh, I sold the ham. That's what I didn't want to do. So, I'm going to buy more fabrics here and also I'm going to buy the right fish because we need that. Then, I'm going to buy. Sean, do you have regular bolts? Yeah, he does. Okay. Going to buy a few more. Uh, we also need these things later on. I have a chain charge. Research already known. Okay. Mm hmm. So we are also going to buy these things. Oh. These things are also necessary. But I just bought it with the wrong one. Because Nani has it. And I just dropped one of them on the ground, I think. Yeah, I did. It's my bad. We get the components here. Talk to Nani. Great. Good. So we out 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 hunting again. Oh, I see you over there. Oh, I just heard beak things. Are we getting attacked by beak things? Always a possibility. Yeah, we are. Okay, look. Uh, can Kaido. Wait, we're gonna let Kaido take care of this one. Like, fighting beak things always one on one if possible. Hey, I said one on one. Damn. Big he. Damn big thing. Oh, 
Oh, there you go. Although it's not a bad toughness training since they hit quite hard. Just gonna make sure we don't get eaten alive. That's it. Damn, where did this beak thing come from? It's like nothing here because normally they swarm you, but it's just one running around. <gasps> Wait, beak thing nest. Ooh, that's a lot of money we have here. Huh. That's quite a bit of money. If we can... Can we lure them over? First of all, I'm gonna give Yamato the sword here. Yeah. So we gotta let Yamato fight this one-on-one. -on -one. These guys are getting put on hold. Yeah, with our sword we're doing quite a bit of damage. Uh, Elton Sean, you, you know what? Elton Sean can join this. Don't hit Yamato. Good. Good thing. First one goes down. Nice. Look at the bleeding over here. It's insane. And the second one goes down. I'm just gonna pick this up for the time being. So we're gonna make sure we don't make a stupid mistake. Oh my. That was masterfully done, Yamato. I applaud you. It was way easier than I expected. I mean, of course, the sword that we got here. Sometimes I feel a little bit like a cheater because I gave myself the sword, but it is a bit stronger than a Me Too Nodachi. And yeah, so I know. But it's, you know, we're telling a story here, we're doing a, a nice playthrough. I, I can live with that. Sometimes it's hard, but I can. Okay, you guys don't have to be on hold anymore. Now let me fight the gorillas here. Okay. Now we're gonna grab some big thing eggs. There we go. Oh my god, look at all the money. Yeah, that's one way of making money. Flash saw. Yeah, pretty bad. Pretty bad. There we go. Great. Well, let us head back down to the village. Oh, and there are more big things getting slaughtered over here. We're we obviously going to take off their stuff. There we go. So, big thing eggs are just for sale. You can't really do anything with them. Maybe there's a mod that lets you do something, but yeah. And with the eggs, we are now at nearly 100,000 cats. Great. Good thing. So do we need... <laughs> oh my. It's another gorilla charging at us. Go get him, Drake. Nice. I think it's just someone just bought a big thing at... I will catch you, human. <laughs> what do, do we just trade it? Why do you leave? Yeah, I, I just traded to you, my good friend. We just had a very nice trade. I don't know what, what you're on about. So Craig needs some healing, Sasaki also. Oh, Dark Fang and yeah, Kaza. The Hivers are already always getting beaten down quite high. But hey, toughness is pretty nice with the racial bonus. He's still standing there. Okay, I think he just left. Oh, big thing. Nice. Coming over here. And there we go. 
If you have a better training method right now, you can always let me know that. And it also, if you want me to go to a specific place in the next episode, you can also let me know. Uh, but don't tell me to go down here to the Buckmaster and try to defeat him right now, because that's, that's a thing that I'm not going to do. But if you have good ideas that would make sense, you can let me know. Alright, the boys are back in town. Everyone is healed up. And then we're going to loot more gorillas because I guess fighting them won't be necessary. We oh, oh, it is. Okay, I thought that the hivers are taking care of them, but I guess not. I mean, good for me. Oh, and I also want to remove the Lotus Bloom again because it is too much damage. For training. And it is very important to get all the skin right now. Death to the no hives. Hey, come on, man. Can't be like that. Uh, awesome. Oh, look, this guy is called Pedo. Some more outlaws joining in. It's getting night time again and it's if there's one thing that people on YouTube hate it's if I'm playing Kenji at night time because it seems like I mean it's it, it doesn't seem like it it is a big problem because it's so dark and I, I don't know what to do about it I can like carry some lamps or lanterns or whatever but I don't know what the game wants me to do I can go maybe back up in town, try to do stupid things. And I mean, while I'm doing nothing, I could also like mine copper here. And we're not getting strength anymore, but that's fine. That is fine. We are still getting laboring skill and that is good. And there's really a lot of copper down here. Yeah, another laboring skill is going up. It's slowly getting night. You know what? Since nighttime is very unbearable for you guys, and it's also raining here, um, we're going to make it back to the hub. It's a little bit more visible here, so you can see just a bit. Now let us store our goods that we got. So we got a lot of more skin. Let's put this in here. We also got some fabrics. We need for later crafting. And some more meat. I also need to collect more meat, but like the inventory is getting full pretty fast. So there's that. Great, so we did all of this. Do I do need the skeleton bats for prosthetics and for Sir Elton Sean. So let me see what we have here. Mm, I think I need to tack up one more time. No oh, wait, there's robotics here. Do we get the bad? It's the bad. I can't scroll down. Okay. So I can't really tell. I have the ancient science books, but I need steel bars and electric crafting. Okay, we have electric crafting here and then... But I think steel bars do need... Ancient science book, yeah, which I only got one. Hey. We need to research this anyway. No iron plates too. Storage farming, wells. Since we're here, you know what? Let me research all of this. Automatic mining tech. Yeah, we need an AE core for that one. That much is for sure. Who's fighting outside? It is. The Triangle Bandits. Wait, does the living world add Triangle Bandits? I guess it seems like it. Because that's like the only big overhaul mod I have installed of them. I mean, okay, the Lost in the Ashlands one might have added this too. I can't tell. And these are... Oh, the Genovi Thieves. What are they fighting? Dogs? Or just bone dogs? Okay. I mean, why not? Mm, hemp based crafting, yeah, I also want that. Public sales. 
would be a possibility to research that too. Uh, I think I'm still going to mine this iron down here. Because I need the iron for um, backpacks, like for strength training later on, because we have removed that now and... Yeah, so that's one thing I have to do. And you guys... Is there another iron node somewhere around? There is, but it's just one. Mm. Just saw there's a copper node over here. But iron weighs more than copper. So there's that. I know there's one down here. And I'm not that weak anymore, so I can I can defend myself if I get attacked, so. Okay, let's do it like this then, shall we? Oh no, the alienation is here again. Let's hope they get their ass beaten. Not going to do anything right now. The machine is full. Oh. Yeah, that's one problem that we have, like, with the the mod. With that one one at least. We had the capacity was higher. So that was good. Maybe we can install a mod that gives us like more capacity here because it doesn't really make sense that there's only like five space here. But yeah, we do need the iron. So that's one thing. Hey! Just just attacking us. What the hell are you? What's your problem, man? I think he's nearly dead. Oh! Oh, that's quite strong. So I'm taking that. I mean, of course, this weapon is better here, but. Hey. So anyway guys, I just saw that we have recorded an hour again. Um, so, that marks the end of this episode. Well, what did we do? Uh, hey, okay, we just got knocked out. That's one thing that we did. No, but we trained ourselves a little bit more. We also got a lot of money because we just sold Big Thing X and in the next episode, we have a few more community members, but I don't think we have crofters or some stuff, so we'll see. I wanna make the base a little bit, look a little bit beautiful, and yeah, and you know, if you have an idea what we could do in the next episode, you can also let me know. Otherwise, we're just gonna do farming, building up, more tacking, and so on. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!